Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my channel, I really appreciate it. I just wanted to share this poured pot that I did a while ago. Unfortunately, I didn't take a recording of it when I was creating this, but I have done a similar pot. So I thought that I would just show you, it's different colors and it's a smaller pot, but I would just show you how, I thought I'd just show you how I created it. And before we begin, please definitely like, subscribe, comment, and stick around to the end, I do have a surprise for you. You can see these are not very big pots. I think they're about eight centimeters high. And what I've done is I've painted the, you know, I've painted the inside and the uh, and the top top of the lids. And the reason why I've done that is, is I find sometimes if you just leave it terracotta, and when you pour the pots, you know, because I put them up upside down like that, the the paint sort of can sometimes be uneven around the lips. So it's often quite nice just to have. Just this, it, it look it looks better, and even when you you if you're going to plant them, they, they, it just looks tidier. So that's why I do it. And I used to use uh, toilet rolls as my stands, but I've actually found these in a hardware store. They're little sort of seed stands, and I find that they actually work better. They're more stable, I think, because they've got a square base. The, t the toilet rolls are sort of quite wobbly. Um, this. Just to let you know, this is just normal PVA paint, normal household paint. Uh, nothing fancy, just normal household paint. And you'll see that I've actually put, if you can see there, I've put a, some tape in the bottom of the, the pot. It's just normal scotch tape. And I do that because, you know, when you pour, you don't want everything pouring through the whole of the pot, the paint pouring. But likewise, you also don't want to put a thing of tape there because if you put a thing of tape there, then basically when you peel it off, you'll have all of, you know, a nicely painted pot and then a terracotta, a weird sort of terracotta square bottom. So it's actually better to put your tape in the center there. Basically mix these. So I've got 10 grams of paint in here and then 30 grams of Floetrol. I'm just using Floetrol today. I've also got a bottle here of, of, of mixed up paint. And this is actually f half house, house paint and half flow troll. And I just find it helps with, when you're pouring on terracotta pots, because terracotta is porous, when you're pouring on it, I find what it does is it like grips the paint as it's moving down the pot. And it sort of can really slow, sometimes just slow down the, the pour. And in doing that, it, you do use a lot of paint. So what I do now is I always get the the flow troll and house paint and I just coat my, just give it a light coating, nothing fancy, heavy, just so that it's wet and it's got the, so that when, when we start pouring the paint down it, it's got that ability to move down faster. Yeah. I do it with my hands, you know, I just get my fingers and I just coat the pot. It doesn't have to be smart. As you can see, it doesn't have to look good. It's really just to aid that paint to move down the pot and for the terracotta to, to be a little bit less porous as you're working with the paint. I'm definitely putting some on my lip as well that I've already pre-painted. I find also, you know, even painting, coating it like this, like I say, terracotta does dry. porous and paint dries quite quickly. So it's not a bad idea to sort of work fairly fast. My little stand there now. So you can see, and one of the things that's really important when you do these kind of little terra, these pot pours, is um, making sure this is level. It's just always a good idea to make sure that your pot is as level as you possibly can get it. So that's looking good. I like how my pot's level. And so now I'm going to start these, they, I call them like, um, they're just like stripes. So it's it's literally, but there is a technique to them. In that when you pour them, it's it's a good idea to kind of pour down the pot at the same time. And as you're pouring down the pot, you go quite close in. Because what that does is it's sort of flat, makes the paint fatten out. Um, it goes sort of, it gives it a flat, flatter sort of edge. And, you know, you can even help the paint to move down a little bit if you want um with your little pouring your sticks i've got to make sure you can actually see what i'm doing 
So you see, I've poured that one down there. It's a little bit awkward, the angle. Um, so I'm going to pour this one now. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. And you see how I'm sort of stitching that one? I'm, I'm dragging it down. You see how it's, but you see if I let it just do that, it comes down in a thin, quite a thin line. So I want to make it come down in a more generous line. So you see how when I follow it down, more how more paint comes out. And that's the sort of thing that I'm looking for. And I want to connect those two colors there and connect those up there. So I'm just using my paddle stick to help me. I really like this coral color. I thought it was a really lovely color to play with. So let's, um, and you can see if you look there, well, you won't see on the video, but there's actually a tiny little space that's been left there. So I just want to take, make sure that that's cover, you know, that's covering the lip. You can see I'm using the, you know, for the different colors, I'm using the paddle stick for those colors. So I'm not um, transferring color to other spots and muddying my colors. So now we're going to do the, the coral color. So you see, I'm going to let it just drop down like that. And then I'm going to come round. I might have to stand up here. Easier. And I'm going to sort of push that paint down more. So it sort of becomes more of a fatter line. Because this way you're sort of bringing them together, but you also aren't wasting a lot of paint. Um, and it doesn't take as long. And you see, I've got, I've got quite a bit of paint in my tray there. So I'm just picking up from there and making sure that that goes all the way through. So my, initially what I'm going to do, I've also got a bit of paint sitting on the top of the pot, but I'll just wait. So initially what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to cover my, my pot um, with these colors. Then I'm going to, if I want to put a little bit of paint over the, you know, over the top again. So again, I'm going to just, it's a little bit difficult because I'm right-handed. You can see how I'm sort of squashing that line. Yeah, that's perfect. I hope you guys got to see that properly. And I, I've got pink down there. So I'm going to just pull up that pink to stitch that line together.
also going to bring some of this nice pink in here. good I think I like it so that just is another way of doing them just another idea when you're pouring little terracotta pots so I just wanted to show you the this little pot you know bring a bit of a close-up of this little pot and you can see I think it looks really lovely like what I like about this particular style is the vibrancy you know you really keep the like the colors really strong and vibrant so i really like it i think it's the end result looks really nice it's quite funky and fun and you can see if you look at the top here like the lids you, you see why i recommend that you actually just paint the inside of your pot because it's not completely even around there which would be very noticeable if it was a terracotta pot but because i've painted the inside it you know it just looks like it's part of the artwork so it's always a good idea to just paint your lip, lip i generally just paint the lips sort of down to about here but because these were such small pots i went all the way down through because just was you know it didn't take long at all to do but yeah it looks really good happy with it so if you do want to know more about pot pots i have an e-course on udemy the link is below otherwise so yeah just um, like subscribe and and follow thanks for visiting i really appreciate it Thank you.